are we going to see Nick Walker's best ever at New York, New York, and then even better at the Olympia? Or are you going to be somebody that is like, I'm not going all out for this because I know I got the Olympia and I'm going to, I'm going to like, just kind of. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with the physique update of Rubil Mosclera aka Nexilla. The fact that he's mentioning that he hasn't even started his prep yet. This makes him in a very good body composition. But the new pro is now less than 8 weeks out. So will he be ready in 8 weeks time? Well the kind of condition that he is in right now I think 8 weeks is enough time to get shredded inside out. So Rubil did not have a lot of separation in his course when he made his open bodybuilding debut last year which was at Prague. So that is something that he needs to work on. So what is really impressive about this update of Rubio? Well, I'm not really sure if it's the camera angle or something else. But by no means his legs look overly huge compared to his upper half in this update. In fact, he flows extremely well. Especially when he is logged in for the shot. When he is in the pose. And he is looking a lot rounder and thicker. Especially in his upper half. The only thing that is out of balance here is his face I have to say. Because the fact is that is just too little for his humongous body. So it is really surprising that he was able to bring up his back in such a short time span. So contrary to what some people say, I think Rubil would have done well at this year's Orn Classic. So as of right now, he hasn't made any official announcement about what show he's gonna compete in. About what show he's actually going for in 2024. But according to his trainer Chris Cormier, he is gonna do the New York Pro. So if he is in fact doing the New York Pro, in an ideal scenario he is still behind on schedule. Because he has to do more traveling in the upcoming weeks. While a guy like Nick Fokker is 100% logged in. And make no mistake, Nick Fokker is gonna bring his 100% to the New York Pro. Although some people might believe that he's gonna win the show even if he doesn't bring his 100%. But this is the only show that he's planning to do before the Olympia this year. So this is gonna be his only chance to make a big impression about what kind of physique he is bringing to the Olympia stage this year. He is now pushing extremely hard in the gym. And we all know Nick Fokker's work ethic is second to none. Only Hadi Chopin comes to mind when it comes to putting this much effort into the gym. I'm going all out. Good. I don't ever, like, go into a show. You know what I mean when I said that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I don't, whatever show I do, I go all out no matter what. No matter what. And that's, I'll go all out for this. I'm going to go all out for Olympia. And I'm going to go all out for the Arnold. Now, let's talk about the New York Pro. Specifically this athlete, Angel Calderon, who is a top 212 Olympian. So he was runner up at the Olympia 2022 against Sean Carrida. And Angel Calderon has won an open show before. He was qualified for the Olympia in the both 212 and the open division in 2022. But this is going to be the first time he is going to go up against some heavy hitters of the open division. I'm pretty sure he struggles extremely hard coming down to 212 pounds. Because he has strided loose when we saw Jay Cutler critique him a few weeks ago. And he was weighing close to 250 pounds at that time. And even Jay Cutler was surprised that how does he make the weight cut off. So Angel is known to bring some of the sickest and the most shredded looks to the stage. So right now he is 8 weeks out in this update. And the man looks right on the money. So after we saw Sean Carrida not placed the way he expected at the On Classic 223, I have to say it is written on the wall that unless you have genetics like Sean Pearson or Darren Lensford or Hadi Chopin, you are not gonna place top 6 at the Olympia level in the men's open class. But this is gonna be a new adventure for Angel Calderon. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna look at his all-time best because he's gonna be a lot bigger, a lot more fuller, and at the same time equally shredded as well. Tony Bolton is up next, two and a half weeks out of the Orn Classic Brazil. The closer he gets to the show, the more impressive he gets and he doesn't look small by any means. So Tony's physique is one of the most balanced physiques in the men's open bodybuilding. And I have to say both him and his coach, they calculated this time extremely well. He's still 8 weeks out of the New York Pro, which was going to be his first show of the 2024 bodybuilding season. And he is ready to step on the Arnold Brazil stage in two and a half weeks time. So this just goes to show us how fast these guys get in shape and how all of these guys are in shape so far ahead of his schedule. And it is all about staying lean during the offseason. And since the Olympiad 2023, Tony Burton remained in a great offseason shape. 
So it is really a bold decision by Tonyo. The shows that he has chosen to do for 2024. These shows are gonna have some of the deepest lineups in 2024. We have guys like Rafael Brandao in Brazil and Carlos Thomas Jr. Both of whom are structurally bigger than him. And at the Neil Pro, we have the mutant Mick Walker. But Tonyo Button isn't afraid of going against some big competition. So his battle with Rafael Brandao is gonna be a treat to watch because both these guys have similar characteristics. They both have great shapes, great flow, great symmetry. Both of these guys have very aesthetically pleasing physiques. And on top of that, none of the body parts are missing on either Rafael Brandao or Tonio Button. And we rarely see that in the men's open class. Rafael Brandao is also constantly giving us physique updates. I mean, I have told you guys this before. If you aren't subscribed to him on his YouTube channel, you are definitely missing out. So Rafael is also two and a half weeks out now. And he is looking really shredded and not to mention full as well. Because right now he must be on low cops. So the question is, are they gonna do something different compared to what we saw from them at the Arnold Ohio? So Rafael Brandao is still gonna be the man to beat here in Brazil. He is a lot bigger than Tonio Button, especially now. Plus, he is equally ecstatic as well. Now we know how passionate the Brazilian fans are when it comes to supporting their athletes. So there is gonna be a huge crowd supporting Brandao at the Arnold Brazil. So some people said after the on Classic Ohio that Rafael Brandao could have been in a better condition. So for the on Brazil, Brandao had another four weeks to diet. So all these indicators point towards one direction. That is gonna be better than ever. That he is gonna be better than Ohio, where he placed a solid top three behind Samson Dauda and Hadi Chupo. There is a change of plan for John Jewett. Instead of competing at Texas Pro in August, he's gonna be shooting for Vancouver Pro in 16 weeks time. So I don't think he could have had a more productive offseason than this one. He was weighing over 250 pounds during the offseason even last year as well. But last year he was a 212 competitor and this time he is in the men's open division. And you can just see there is a night and day difference in the overall body composition, the muscularity, the kind of muscles, the mass, the size that he has now. That is just mind-blowing improvement in just one year. His body composition right now is also on a different level. So John has made the most noticeable improvements in his chest, which has been his weakest muscle group. Not to mention his quads are looking a lot bigger and not to mention more separated. And his delts are looking much more improved now. Overall, everything looks bigger. But at the same time, he is so much more leaner this time, which is a great sign. So he is already in such a great spot at the start of his prep. that it's almost a guarantee that he will be shredded on stage. I mean, his conditioning has always been spot on. The look that we saw from him at the Legion Sports last year, that was so damn impressive. Enough to beat multiple big bodybuilders, guys like Justin Rodriguez. And he really gave Charles Griffin a serious one for his money at that show. So that conditioning with the added size that he has now, that is going to be very competitive. So we have Regan Grimes and Stanimal going for Vancouver Pro. And now John Jewett is in as well. So it turns out that Vancouver Pro is also going to be one hell of a show. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.